Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you some case craft projects that I've been working on and it's with the March release. Now um, she has released her April, her April collection and um, I will have a video showing you that collection but for now, let me show you what I created. So I'm using this die here. This is uh, the butterfly banner die and oh my gosh guys it's so beautiful so i created these right here and i just want to show you that you could use your straws we have a bunch of straws in our stash and i'm using the maggie holmes carousel collection so all you have to do is just layer your butterfly it's all there for you for you to cut it out and just layer and i use some flowers for the uh, center and of course, I added a dangle. Eileen, look, I added a dangle. <laughs> so um, let's, I just wanted to show you um, to put it together. So all you have to do is just cut out two. So one for the back and one for the front. And just glue them together like that. And then all you do is you grab your, is just place your straw right here in between. And just glue it down. So let's go ahead and glue it down. Just to give you an idea, so I add my glue right here, right here, just gluing down the straw. Add your little straw there, or you can add a paper clip, whatever you guys want to use for your project. I want to use this as an embellishment, or I want the uh, recipient that I'm going to send some embellishments to. To use this as an embellishment that they could place on a journal they could place it in front of a, of a project of a box I mean it's their choice so I'm just gonna glue this down and then you add your butterfly to the top and there you have it let me go ahead and get my glue gun and add this to the top so I just hot glued it on there. All you do is just prop them up and look how cute. I love it. So I have these two ready to be um, gifted for uh, my swap buddy. And let, let me show you the next project I worked on. This one is an emery board or a pen holder. And what I did here is I have a little uh, nail filer emery board added a dangle yes because you know why not have your emery board with a dangle and then of course i used that carousel and look how cute it turned out you could totally put your emery board in there and it's really snug so i'll leave it inside but just to give you an idea and then what i did in the back is just added a tag so i can add a note so if we're making gifts for people this is the perfect packaging cuteness that we could add to our swaps or to our gift giving and look how beautiful it turned out so let me show you the next one so for this cute little jelly bag i put it together on a live with my friend sele and my friend nati uh hopefully you guys could go and join in in the fun and watch that live just grab a coffee grab your crafts and just watch us chat and just laugh we giggle a lot so <laughs> hopefully you could stop by um so let me show you what i did with this one. Oh my gosh yes look eileen i added the dangle okay but i added it right here on the top so i just went ahead and added uh these two uh eyelets on the top and of course um use some of my maggie holmes chipboard and some of my stickers in my stash and i built this little purse and it's so cute this is a march release case craft butterfly look how beautiful and detailed it looks on there and then the the side it has this beautiful die cut here that you could add to further embellish your project added a bow with a little cabochon and of course of course of course you know you could totally put uh items in here let's butterfly set i just showed you let me just add them inside here and so you could see there is a lot of room you could add a a little embellishment book in here you could fill it up you could stuff it with a whole bunch of stuff so just to give you a little preview of what you could add to inside of this jelly tote oh my gosh and let me let me get the emery board here the little uh, so cute look at that you can start packing up your goodies and adding it here if you have a swap buddy for crafting you could always make one of these for whatever occasion spring mother's day and then add um 
little soaps in there, little candles, little treats. I mean, it's up to you. And then a little gift card. I mean, why not? It's so pretty to make and it's so pretty to have. So this is a must have. I love having all the jelly totes. Jelly tote is a great addition to your stash. And let me show you the next a project that I worked on. So this one is the KS Craft Picnic Box. It has these layering pieces for your dies. Um, I'm going to show you the project right now and I'm going to point out what, what is layering and what is just to cut the box. So for the box, you're only going to need a total of five dies. So this one, of course, is for the handles. This one is for the bottom, the base of the project. Then we have the side pieces here. And then this one is to connect the side. It goes like this. I'm going to show you right now for my project and this one here it's the lid of the box and let me show you um so i just want to let you know that the pieces that do not have um stitching all these pieces inside here have stitching and those go on top of your box so you can embellish it and you can make it look so cute let me show you what i did oh my gosh look at this cutie so i was on a live today with eileen and look how pretty look eileen i added a dango yes i did yes i did and look how cute added a little heart there and she has little feet too look how beautiful and then i added of course decorating is the most the part that i have the most fun with i love decorating my objects and so i did stitch all around on her live we had fun we were chatting away and look how cute it turned out i hope i hope you guys get this you can turn it into whatever you want and of course picnics are in the summer or in the spring and you could um when you pack this up you could put these down so you can package it like this so it won't um it won't damage the project and let me just show you inside it is so roomy this box is just so roomy you can add so many things here let me show you um just for just for the purposes of you know how much room this box has i'm gonna put these butterflies inside look so we have these two butterflies inside and it's still look how much room you still have in there. And then, of course, let's see. Let's add a sequin mix. I could add a couple of packs of bling in here. You could add a couple of more items in there. Look how cute. And then, of course, let me show you. You just place your top to it. And it houses so many things look how cute how pretty i love it look how pretty and then just fit snug and it won't fall you just leave the handles down and they look so pretty but look how beautiful is this box here and of course i stitched all around and i used the maggie holmes carousel digital collection i added i did add this beautiful little dangle onto the top look how cute these i got from rhoda she's nifty crafty me on instagram and uh, she sells uh sometimes she sells her items on instagram so i grabbed this one and it's just the perfect addition to my project and then of course i, I embellished the front i used some chipboard some of my some rosettes and some flowers that i've been gifted or i made and these are gifted to me by my friend brenda and added some trim on here and of course it has little feet yes it does it's so cute so it is super pretty to have so you can make the your swap buddy a beautiful gift or you could even make it for mother's day and add some kind of treats inside with a little um dinner card for um, a meal to your um, loved one and look how cute it just decorated it looks so pretty and so let me go ahead and give you another peek on what I made and I, I had so much fun on the live with Eileen and Luisa today and I hope you guys can go over to KS Craft um, I'm gonna link the AliExpress uh, shop and also link the Amazon shop. These dies should be available in the Amazon shop. Um, and also stay tuned because I will have an unboxing for the April release KS Craft dies. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a marvelous day and a blessed day. I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.